What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am opening the Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai English reprint set. So for those of you that know, this is a reprint and you don't get signatures in this. It is, they lost the license during the reprint. They made a new set because a film was coming out and as they did that, they reprinted this original set. Um, but they did not have the licensing in English to put the signatures on there. So we got hot stamps. And for those of you that are wondering, someone, someone commented about this uh, not too long ago. This is the old style English booster box with this very tall looking style. The new style going forward is the flat Japanese ones. Um, let's just get into it and see if I can get anything. So let's just get this set up as if we were in a shop like that do we get a pr yes we do and oh look at that we've got the my pr box topper so probably the priciest and most desired box topper because it is my so obviously for those of you that are unaware this artwork this card is not present in the booster box so there is no way to get the trial deck bunny girl my sp out of this box and even if you could it wouldn't have the signature on it anyway but it is really nice to see like on the booster packs i know you know this was cheap this was from top deck in on their closing down sale so it was like 42 pound they still had some left um but yeah it's really nice to see it's just it's a bit strange that they use this artwork on the booster box and booster packs but it was only a trial deck Hard. so yeah i mean let's just see if i can get anything whatsoever even if they aren't signed it will be just nice to open open something i haven't opened something in a while so you've got to love an opening and we've got the just a rare and a climax rare so let's just take a look at the the foil where's the foil is there a foil pattern? This is really hard to show up on camera. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. It's just like a couple of sparkles. So the foil is on the background of the card, which was why you couldn't really see it on that one. Um, because she was taking up most of the card art. And what have we got? my camera doesn't want to focus if i get too close which is a bit annoying but um i don't think there's anything i can do about that i'm afraid we've got double rare on that one so yes it's just nice to nice to open a set that i think a lot of people i just dropped a card i think a lot of people didn't think would be reprinted um but to be honest i don't think it sold too well because of the lack of signed cards in this set, because they were stamped, a lot of people didn't bother with it whatsoever because there's just no signatures. And especially from a collector's perspective, that's quite funny. It's like a Google web page, but they've obviously rebranded it for copyright purposes. Um, and we've got a My Rare. So you can see the foil a bit more on that one. Is that my? No, it's uh, Nodica, but it's not. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yes, the, the hot stamps and the signatures. So, yeah, it didn't sell well because of no signatures. So, they also reprinted the Japanese boxes as well. And in Japanese, you could get the signatures. So, in my opinion, anyone that wanted signatures, which is most people, they would have bought the Japanese reprint to, to get those signatures rather than this version. So we got a double rare on that one. I um I personally I did get some of the Japanese reprint and I did pull I bought two boxes and I got the SEC and I got an SP as well out of just two boxes. So that's like that's all the case hits. You only got two hits per case. So I got super lucky with that one. Um and yeah, they had the signatures, so it was just it was just nicer to, in my opinion. We've got the SP. We've got the Noduka SP. I know it's like 
stamped and it's not actually signed but what is going on i am on an absolute streak right now with pulling sps i guess if if anyone saw my disney 100 openings i opened 12 disney 100 boxes and only got one sp i think the odds are like one in four boxes so i did terrible with that so it seems like my luck right now has turned around oh, that is stunning why is it so shiny if i just not looked at an sp for a while or something it just it just looks really nice wow such a shame it it's it's not not the original it's not the one with the signature but um yeah i mean you're not picking them up these days but oh that is awesome i'm so happy with that i need to sleeve that now I swear, I mean, it's such a shame that top decking are going under. I mean, that's how I got this box so cheap. It was their closing down sale, but it's such a shame because every box, every booster box I buy from top deck in, I get a hit. Like I buy one loose box from like for a set here and there from them. And I just, I, I get an SP and <laughs> They're closing down now, so I don't. <laughs> that that's it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to open just one or two boxes and, and get the hits anymore. Um, but in all seriousness, it, it's a real shame they are they are closing down, and we've got a rare there. And that is what led me to make uh, Card Cami, which is my own online Weiss Wars store, trying to supply every English set to people in the UK and Europe at the cheapest price around so you will not find any online store in the uk selling it cheaper than i'm doing on there and that was mainly to carry what top decking were to the white shores community in the uk um, they were an official tournament store obviously i can't <laughs> buy a store and do that but from a collector perspective from a store that stocks every set and were reasonably priced they were still a bit more expensive than what i will be charging but um they were way more reliable than any of the other bigger stores online and we're getting all of the nordica cards including the sp but yeah i said that's a shame because literally every i think every box every set i've bought from them I normally buy one or two booster boxes of a new set if it's a set I like to open and I'm pretty sure the last four or five sets that I've bought from them just one or two boxes I've had a hit in every every single box um, sorry every single set that I've opened from them and uh, yeah I guess I won't have that luck anymore <laughs> that's a real shame that is a real shame, but we finish it on a high, right? We finish it on a Bunny Girl Senpai SP for a ridiculously cheap box, considering how much I paid for that. And there we have the My Rare. I, I mean, I know it's a rare. I think there's an SR version of this card. But for those of you that know, this is the artwork on the My uh world finals sort of trophy card where there was only like i feel like it was about 10 or 12 given out in the world so if you've seen the the stamped version of this the trophy card version of this um obviously the the artwork it's, itself is exactly the same so seeing that card is always like really strange because for so long i've only i only ever see it as the the trophy card that's literally worth like a stupid amount of money a stupid amount we're talking way into the sort of five figure range for that card um and a double rare really really nice on that one so what do we have oh we still got quite we still got quite a few packs left i i think this is yeah the the old so the old star boxes you got 20 packs um whereas when they've changed as they have now to the the flat boxes that match the japanese ones you only get 16 packs but in in, in packs you quite typically get more than one 
pool and, and you get more cards per pack so that is why we still have so many cards left because this is the old configuration so there probably should be at least an SR or a triple rare left in this box and if you've watched any of my other videos you know that I, I love pulling just anything with texture on so any sort of SR or triple rare I'm, ha I'm always happy with I'm always happy with them because they always just look so nice it doesn't matter how cheap they are they just yeah I just I just love them and there we go there we go I mean I'm sure you can see it like it just stands out so much more than rares just the normal foil rares and, and double rares um it's just so shiny <laughs> like for a collector like me yeah i absolutely love them um i have been thinking about the sets going forward literally just collecting all of the srs and all of the triple rares because they're cheap they're so cheap to buy you know you can buy them for normally just like a few pounds a few dollars but they just look so nice i, I think having a binder with all the srs and all the triple rares from a set you love and then obviously if you can afford it like with the sps and ssps as well I just think in a binder it just looks so nice having pages and pages of just textured cards back to back. Um, making a bit of a mess here. Right, we've got four packs, no, five packs left. I can't count. Um, yeah, you know, maybe we we have a triple rare still in here. Typically, you're likely to get two pulls. Oh, we've got a double rare my. That is really nice. Just really simple but clean and nice artwork on that but yeah typically i mean especially for the old sets like this it, it was typically sort of two cards per box but i always forget the the exact ratio because normally it's something like six, 16 triple rares or like 15 triple rares per case of 18 boxes and things like that so another rare so yeah, sometimes you could get unlucky and just get one textured card per box, but it's normally quite unlikely that that happens. Um, most of the time you're getting at least two, and depending on the set, sometimes more. Another rare, and on to the final two packs. I can't believe I got an SP. I'm just, I'm normally so unlucky, like with with disney and with pixar i was just pixar I opened 15 boxes and missed every single ssp and sp so i think there was it's a case of 18 there were four boxes in in a in the case of 18 boxes that I had a pull in i opened all of them except one i opened nearly nearly every dead box that had nothing in <laughs> back to back like for so yeah i opened like what was it 14 maybe i don't know i had there, there was five boxes left four of them had balls in one of them didn't and i just had to stop um and there we go we end it on the rare my so i mean great opening i'm super happy with that i'm super happy with this sp it looks so nice it just looks so nice and then we've got a shoko sr to go with it so yeah hope you enjoyed the opening if you're looking for any y Schwartz, please head over to my store check it out if you're in the uk or europe um hopefully i can get you some very cheap y Schwartz to open and you can enjoy y Schwartz as much as i do so as always thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next video